the first thing I'm going to do, convert this to a table. So I'm going to highlight this first one. I'm going to go under insert and table. That says, does your table have headers? Headers meaning there's labels on top. Yes. So we want to leave it checked. Hit OK. Looking good. Now the next thing we want to do, we want to go in this top section, see under design, and we want to give this table a name we can remember. So see it says table one. So instead I'm going to call this left table. You want to make sure there are no spaces in these names. I'm going to hit enter. That gives me a name for this table. Now I'm going to make the second one a table two. Insert table, has headers, okay. Name this right table. Now that I have names for this table that I can recognize, I'm going to go ahead and add a connection to these tables in my add-on. So to do this, I'm going to go to my add-on here on top. Now, again, if you're in 2016, go under data tab to get to this and you're going to see an option that says from table. So it's going to make a connection from this table to our add-on. So I'm going to click on this. It comes back as the same table. So nothing sensational here. So all I'm going to do is just go on top here, click on this little icon and do close and load to. And here it's going to say, do you want to close and load it as a table or what do you want to do with this? So I'm going to say, I only want to create a connection. So I don't want to load anything. I just want to create a connection. So I'm going to do this, click load, and that will create a connection to this. And you will see this tool will show up with that name, with that connection. Perfect. The second table. So I'm going to click inside of this table. Again, go back from table and that makes another connection. So again, close and load, close and load to, and only create connection, load again. So now we have these two connections. So at this point, we're ready to do the next step, which is gonna be our merge. So what we'll do, we'll click on the first table. So that will be the table where we want to do that match or VLOOKUP, right? That's gonna be that main first table. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna go back here on top and click Merge. You could also go here in this panel, see it says left table, right click on it and Merge. It will get you to the same place. So this will show up. So see on top it says left table, perfect. That's the one we want. On the bottom, we're going to select that right table. Now I have both tables selected. Now I have to show which column is the column I want to use to figure out if they're matching or not. So the ID from here and ID from here, from both tables. And that should do this. Now there is also this option to only include matching rows. And uh, if you click on that, it will only show the records from this table that match the other table which you could do too. So for now, I'm just going to leave it off. Just do this, hit OK. So this is going to show up. So you'll see how we have that first table that's on the left. And there's this new column that says table, table, table on the right. So I'm going to go here and click on this little icon. And this is going to show me what it's going to expand. I'm just going to expand everything. OK, so now it shows me those tables side by side. And you can see that this is that first table and this is that right table merged when it has those values matching. So everything that didn't match comes back as a null here in our new column ID or in our case this too. But usually you want to use that new column ID as the one to identify because you could have nulls in those other columns as well. Just because it's null in the second or third column, that doesn't mean anything. This is the column you want to concentrate on. I'm going to go ahead and now select the ones that did match or didn't match. So if I want to get a table where everything matched, I would just click on that box that I had before to include only matching records. Instead, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to uncheck this. And I'm just going to select null. So null means 
we're not able to find this in the other table. I'm going to also get rid of this column because we don't need to look at this. So I'm gonna right click and remove on this, right click and remove on that one. And that gives us this. So now this is our table. So I'm going to do close and load two. Now, before I close and load, I wanna go back here on the right. So it says merge one and give this a name so I can recognize what this is. So I'm gonna call this records not available in the right table. That's my descriptive name. I'm gonna now go under close and load and do close and load two. And this time I want to actually put those results back here on a screen, not just make a connection. So I'm going to use it as a table and then where do I want those results? So you can do a new worksheet and put those results on a whole fresh new tab, which could be what you want and it might be a lot of times, but now I just wanna keep it on the same screen. So I'm gonna do existing worksheet here. I'm gonna click on this button and I'll put those results right here below so we can see it. So I'm gonna hit okay, load. Now we have our results. So see how we get just the ones three, four, seven, ten. So three, four, seven, and ten were not in this table on the right. Now let's do another table that will show us the ones that are available on the right table. So now again, I'm gonna click here in my left table, I guess. Again, you can do it from here or you can do it from here. I'm just gonna go start from my left table again, right click, and I'm gonna do my merge and I'm gonna select my right table. I'm gonna give the columns that match and now I'm gonna click only include matching rows. Hit okay and that's just gonna give me that. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, remove this from the right and give this a proper name. Records available in the right table and close and load two. Again, table, existing worksheet, click on this, and I'll put this right next to it here. Hit okay, load, and this will give us the opposite. This just gives us whatever was in the other table. So one, two, six, and eight. So one, two, three is not, four is not, six is, seven isn't, eight is, and 10 is not. And that's perfect. So these are the ones that were not in the other table. These are the ones that are. Now what's the power of doing this with this method is that now if you go and add new records here, you can just go ahead and refresh this. So I can just go and click on this refresh button here and this refresh button here. If you don't wanna refresh each one of those separately, you can go under data tab and do refresh all. That will refresh all of them at the same time. Now you can see how this automatically showed up here without me doing a single thing at this point. If you're consistently doing this, let's say every day, every week, or every month, you can just do this once, create this template, and then next month, if you're adding records, just paste them below and refresh. Or otherwise, if you're not adding records, you can just delete these records, paste your new records here and this new records in this other table and just hit refresh and everything will just work. You may obviously want to put this in a separate tab instead of putting them right next to it. We're just doing this right now so we can see them side by side and what's happening. Now you could also add the records from this table that are not in this table or that are in this table. How would you do this? You would take now as a starting point this table, so it would be right table, you right click on it, you do merge, and see the right table is our main table now. Now I'm gonna do the left table. I'm gonna show my ID. If I want to get the records that match, it would be only matching rows, which will be kind of redundant because it doesn't really matter which way we're matching. So if I do this, it should get me pretty much exactly the same table as we have here because the ones that are matching from this are also matching from the other one. So we're really interested in the ones that are not matching. So I'm gonna uncheck this, hit okay, 
Good. I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to do ID only this time. And here I just want to select the ones that are null. And remove that column from the list. And name this. Left table, close and load, close and load two, and we'll put this in this existing worksheet. Try to put this someplace over here. Load. And there we have it. So five and nine from here are not here. Great. So that gives us three different tables. One of them is everything that's matching, which is this. This is what's available in the left table that's not in the right, and this is the other way around. You may want to just get one full table or everything that's not matching from this and this. So basically like these combined with these. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm gonna right click on the records not available in the right table, which was basically this, right? I'm going to right click and now I'm going to do append. I'm going to click append and what I'm appending to this is this records not available in the left table. So that one. Hit OK. And this should give me that combined table. I can do close and load, maybe name this first in both tables. Maybe we should call them not matching in both tables. That's good. Close and load, close and load two. And we'll decide where we're going to put this, I guess, here. Too many things already. So load. And there it is. That's everything that's not in both tables. And again, the whole power of this is that later on, if you're adding more stuff here, just go ahead and refresh and this will automatically reload without you doing a single thing. So let's do this on a data set. So let's go back here. The first thing you want to do is convert this to a table, right? So insert table that highlights this table. It has headers on top. Okay, sounds good. So we're going to name this. So we'll say first accounts. That's that. And then I'm going to go to this another list. And again, insert table. I'll call this second accounts. Hit enter. And now I want to do what I did before, right? So the first thing I have to do, I need to add connection to this table. So I'm going to click on this first one, go here from table, first accounts, looks good to me, close and load to only create a connection load. That's good. Go back to this one from table, close and load to only create a connection load. So now we have those two tables. We made a connection to those. Now we can make our final results table. So I'm going to click on the first one. So now I'm going to check the record from here that are not in this another list. So to do this again, I'm going to go ahead and go on top here and do merge. And I'm going to select that table. It was my first accounts and I'm going to do my second accounts. I'm going to do this account together with this account as a match. Hit OK. So I'm going to open this. I don't want to open all of these, so I'll just uncheck all of them. Just do the account. Hit OK. And now these are accounts. See, and some of them are nulls because they're not in the other table. So now what we want to do, just filter this to the ones that are nulls, hit OK. And then we can just go ahead and remove 
this column looks good name this records not available in second table and then close and load I'm gonna do close and load or close and load two. In this case, it doesn't matter. I'll do close and load two anyways. So right now I'm just gonna put it on a table and I'll put it on a completely new worksheet because we don't want to clutter this worksheets. So table and I'll hit load. So it's gonna make a whole new fresh tab here. See called sheet one. So you can rename this records not in the left. This should be the result of everything that's in this table that is not available in this second list. And you can obviously do as many of this as you need, right? The same way you can do from another list to this list. You can join those together, same things as before. And from now on, if you need to do this next month, the same thing, just go ahead and if you're adding new records, obviously just add those records and refresh. If you have a completely new data set, just go ahead and delete these records from here and this other table, paste your new data, as long as the columns are matching, which I guess should match from month to month, just go ahead after that and refresh this last records not available in second table. And that should just get you the results without doing a single thing.